In this video I'll explain how you can get started with Drum Machine Designer and create custom kits in Logic Pro. First you'll need to add new software instrument track. Logic will open the library for you. You can find Drum Machine presets and electronic drum kits. It's a big collection of custom instruments, as well as some classic drum machines such as Roland 808. Each collection will be loaded to your instrument track with a custom channel strip. Now the drum machine is ready to be programmed. If you open piano roll you will see the names of each sample, so it's quite easy to start drawing MIDI notes. Personally I prefer Step Sequencer. It works great with drum patterns. If you're just starting, Logic comes with a collection of patterns that you can learn from. Not every example makes use of all the samples included in Drum Machine. You can add missing paths to the Step Sequencer view at any point. Now let's talk about creating our own drum kits. Here I have a loop with sounds I would like to use. I could trim each sound and then drag and copy it around, which would take a lot of time. Instead we are going to convert it to a new sampler track. In this new window, make sure to create zones from transient marks. Select drum machine as an instrument and create one shot zones, so your samples play till the end as soon as we trigger it. Now Logic creates a new instrument track and MIDI pattern identical to the original loop. We can delete it and go to Inspector to open Drum Machine Designer plugin. In this example we can see four slots with sounds. We can take a closer look next. Sometimes you would have to review how sampler detected transients. Bass drum is cut too short, so we can extend the tail to get full sample going. Now you can rename each pad to see what you're playing, as well as assign a custom icon from Logic's collection of pictures. Let's move to the second pad. As you can see sampler detected transit in the tail of bass drum. We can clear this pad. No issues with the clap. And the last snap also looking good. This interface is probably familiar to you, because what you see is Logic's quick sampler divided into two windows. You can use all these features if you switch between them. Now let's see how we can add more sounds. Simply click empty pad to open library, or press Y, and start browsing. The great thing about Drum Machine Designer is that it's not limited to sampler only. You can insert any instrument into pads. For example, here we have an instance of Alchemy Synthesizer, with its basic view. You can set a note that pad will output to the instrument. There is other way you can access those instruments, by unfolding stack track and finding the right path where you can add effects or change instrument. For example, instead of Alchemy, you can insert a drum synthesizer or any other third-party plugin. All the features will be available to you. Beside main controls, each pad has access to smart controls, such as reverb. If you want to change the effects or add new, you can go to Mixer, unfold the track and find aux tracks, where you can replace reverb or add other effects. Now let's look at one more way we can add new samples. Just open your audio library and find the loops you like. Now you can drag it to the main track. And if you open the plugin, you should see a new path with the same name. You'll probably need to make some adjustments before using it. In this case I want to use the whole loop and play it through. In some situations it could be a problem, because there is no way I can stop the loop. You can fix it by creating exclusive groups that will interrupt samples from playing at the same time. Just add samples to the same group to avoid layering. Clap stop the main loop, while other samples won't affect its playback. This is a great way to control how your paths react and it's useful with open and close hi-hats. 
When you are done with setting up all the sounds, you can add your custom drum machine to the library and recall it anytime later. Drum Machine Designer can easily replace famous drum machines and samplers, so give it a try.